We're going on the road and spreading that goodness. This week we're going on a real adventure in the bush. I can't believe that you left me, darling. You had other business to attend to, baby. I sure must go. Well, okay. Tell us more about this trip. This time the destination was Kafua on the banks of the Kafua River that's in the Lusaka province. It's about two hours and 45 minutes drive from the Lusaka CBD. Morning guys, I'm sure you know that on the wood kitchen we always love cooking some freshwater crayfish. So it's very important to actually know where we get our crayfish from. So today we're heading down to Kafue, in particular the Kafue Bushman's camp who have been so kind to us to allow us to go and do a bit of crayfishing from there. So. Let's get back on the road and let's see where this beautiful crayfish comes from. This time the hunt for crayfish was a solo one. Just me, a boy in nature, well, that was a plan anyway. And then we got lost, <laughs> three times to be exact. <laughs> Away. Should we do one car down first? It's possible. It's possible, yes. It's because I wasn't there. I'm literally the best navigator. Sure, darling, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's go. Guys. After numerous phone calls, GPS links, and a few stops, well, at, at least three, we had to ask for directions, but we finally made it. Bushman's camp is situated on the banks of the Kafura River. Being about 1,576 kilometers long, the Kafura is Zambia's longest river and a tributary of the Zambezi. We made it, Mama. We made it. Good lost. <laughs> How many times? <laughs> three times. <laughs> we got lost three times, guys. Finally, we've made it. So, <laughs> getting lost has actually even worked up an appetite. So, let's see, William. Let's catch some crayfish and we need to eat that crayfish. Please. So, after getting lost three times, our chief navigator, Google, let us <laughs> Went to the way. Do not trust Google. Seriously, guys, this time Google Maps was not handy at all. Be sure to have a contact so we can ask for landmarks. We <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 Oui. 
nothing beats cooking on an open fire in Kuni for wheat. So I'm here with my namesake, Mawile. Okay. Nine and Nine But we already know that. Yes. So today is going to be a good day. It's the boys' day out here. Tendo yeah. Gurav, my crayfish. Yeah. So, what are, where, are you, where are you taking me? Take the, the boat. We're going in the canoe? Yeah. Is it safe? Yeah, it's safe. Kulibe machai ni kunu? Makorkode. Eh. Aliko manye nyoti mzuba. Ha 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 ha. So I'm going to take a look at the boat. Zulu, zulu, so kuli kwaeti. Kwa pia manengi hapa manje, ka? Yeah. Okay, so you show me. Let's go, my friend. Okay. All right, chef. So the lodge has been open for how long now? Yeah, it's nine years. It's Over nine years, right? Eh? Nine years, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. We are safe? Yeah, no problem. Me and we're safe. <laughs> <laughs> very, very safe. Baby, he already told you, it's safe. It seems the way you feel about crocs is how I feel about snakes. I just had to be sure. I knew you'd be devastated if I wasn't extra careful, Gabby. Okay. Fakachan, bro. Bro. Eh. Kastu. Oh, in Kastu? Yeah. Kastu Kanga? Yeah. Manja in a Zambo Taira Kut. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? What? Sitting on Kari. Uh huh. Perfect. Yeah. Ah. Right. Then you put this block nicely. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to push it. I'm going to push it. Yeah. I'm going to push it. So the hunting and gathering begins. At least you didn't put your ancestors to shame, love. Hello, I can survive in the world, you know. So my dear boy, my guys. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, so you're a Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Ah, this is perfect. So you see, guys, every single time we are eating our crayfish, it's always very important to know where it even came from. So, as he mentioned before, they put a bit of shima in there. That's what even attracts the crayfish to come into the into the 20 litre buckets and containers. And then, much that overnight, ka? Yeah. So which means kuseni mapezeka, mame. Yeah. Uti maido kuseni puti. So, wakondo kudja usiku wa banja, ma guys? Wakondo kudja usiku. Usiku. Yeah. So as he said, is that the crayfish always go out and eat at night, basically. So they've been attracted by the shima which they've put in there. So, and then it's harvest time in the morning. So let's, uh, we grab a container and see what we've caught, eh? Yeah. So it's chap one, chap one. I'm in there. I'm gonna go on. Oh, okay. Perfect. Each. Let's see, chap. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Just put this down. So I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on. So, usually what I like to do, <clears throat> can you either use a scissors or a knife, isn't knife. it? So, we've cut it down the middle, and yeah. then now, even while we're there, seen this one here. So this little vein down here, this is where all the matumbos, so to speak, are for the crayfish. So once you pull that out, very simple, it's clean. And we're going to give it a bit of a clean. Yeah. Okay. And then onto my plate on the side here. And then we'll get the rest of the crayfish cleaned. I'll show you our little marinade for the crayfish. Then we're going to put it on our fire with Mr. Wide here. And then we're going to start cooking and enjoy the crayfish together. So, my man. Yeah, my man. I'm a sukira bunch, my guys. My guys, I'm a child. 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 I'
<laughs> Especially in a so 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 mapanga so. Yeah. Mama mama mdala mpaka nuzu. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. So let's get cleaning the rest of the crayfish and then we'll get them lined up and start cooking. As you can see guys, we've cleaned it perfectly. Look at that beautiful white meat. We know that the crayfish is fresh from the river. We've caught it. So I'm just going to cover it now with my tea towel to avoid any flies or any issues falling there. Apa manje, unza nita nzako. Okay. Mchai leko kalemo nchai ati kwa 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 juice ingele mkati. Okay. So you can do that for me while I get ready. And then ine, mameni makonda, obviously garlic. Mameni makambira se. Yeah. So garlic, I use about maybe three to four cloves ya garlic ya kaena. Then what I usually do is mapanga mix, oh, mix butter, yeah. garlic. Then what I also like to do is I am a spices. Uh. These spices are from our main sponsor, which is Heinz. Uh. Yeah. So what I like to do, I like to make a mix. All right. Mm -hmm. So I mix a in makonda. I put in some parsley, some paprika, and white pepper. Mm -hmm. So who taught you how to make the same crayfish? Hey, you saying again? Victoria. Victoria? Yeah. Okay, so Victoria is also one of the owners for the lodge? Yes. Okay, and my mother, Makaya. Yeah. Okay, no, it's good. And this is good because, I mean, Imamon Kala Murimweka Konoka. Yeah. So you just receive a lot of the guests. So Ndima, my manager, Makola. Swami. Imamon. William, you see? You see, William, that name is destined for great things. Eh? So the guys behind the camera, if you haven't yeah. had children yet, call them William. We are destined for big, big things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a lot of disapproving mm. shakes of heads behind the camera. So, what I like to do is just chop, 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 chop. We've gone in uh, lemon. Yeah. Like garlic, yeah, okay. Then I like coriander. coriander. Coriander, it's like a nice spice like this. It's a, more of an Asian kind of spice itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Manzatu. Yeah. So, quick chop. Straight into the lemon. Mm -hmm. So that goes into the lemon and garlic. Yeah. Lovely all of that goodness in there. Okay, and then what I like to do is use a bit of parsley. My friends at Heinz, okay? Some parsley. Yeah. If you don't have fresh parsley, Nga 7 is a dry parsley. Okay. Because okay? usually a lot of the time, if you're on the road, you won't find my fresh herbs. Yeah. So it's better. You can carry yourself a bit of that beautiful parsley from Heinz and then in. The other bit is paprika. Paprika. Uh -huh. So the paprika is going to give it like a nice smoky kind of flavor. Okay. 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 And then as I said before, we're using white pepper. Yeah. From our friends at Heinz again. Kind of white pepper, yaka, and it's not too powerful as well. Because you don't want to mess around with the na taste, your flavor, your chan, yaka, 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 crayfish. Okay. All right. Okay. So in with a bit of pepper, nice and easy. <coughs> Every single time you put pepper, a little bit of salt. Yeah. Okay. Not too much salt because here the other ingredient is butter. The butter. Butter yaka, yaka, yaka. It's salt. It's also salt. So we don't put too much. Just your size. So. Okay. So take my knife. Add that butter in there. We we'll put it onto the the fire. Yeah. And then that will start cooking nice and slow. I get my uh, spoon here Cheap. from our friends at Effie Goods, okay. who are so kind to give us some of that okay so mix 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 a bit and then once that um, butter melts then we we'll also taste in case we need to add a little bit more sweet or whatever it is as well so whether you can add a little bit of sugar if you like it a bit sweet mm -hmm. but for this recipe in particular i think there's a lot of sweetness from the meat here crayfish again okay. plus also magakins which we'll use ballast okay? okay so this one goes straight onto the fire yeah. so we can go this way so it's like focaccia, not direct heat. Okay. Okay, you don't want it boiling as I said before. So heat yaka in a minute, it will be tough. Slowly, slowly. So you'll see now that butter will start to melt. All right. So I can put my tea towel down for now. 
This is real bush cooking. Guys, remember crayfish does not take that long to cook, huh? So please keep an eye on it. You don't want to overcook it because once it overcooks, man can among any rubber. So yeah, yeah. Then it's not really nice, you know? <laughs> I taste the same like a mush. Exactly, exactly. You can see now my mixture here is also starting to melt. So once that butter is nicely melted, we'll flip over the crayfish just now because it does take longer, obviously, when you're cooking it from the shells itself. Just a couple of more minutes, that would be beautiful. I'll turn over the crayfish and then we'll start putting that beautiful butter on that, uh, on that nice sweet meat itself. See the meat is already turning nice and pure white. You can see that my edges of the of the crayfish are now turning that bright orange color. Once that shell is fully like bright orange, guys, you know you're in business. You see, literally only takes you what five ten minutes to cook this. All right, great. So put that over there. So on with my butter. You can see that butter is nicely melting away. Get the butter in. Ooh, look at that guys. That is going to be something beautiful. Yeah. Simple, simple. Yeah, when you can Yeah, when you can yeah. Mm. Maka maka ka presentation kaka ye na, ka? Yeah. Okay, so guys, have you seen? Crayfish, nice and bright orange on the outside. You know that it's good to go. So I'm just going to plate this up quickly. And then William and I are gonna sit down and enjoy this beautiful crayfish meat freshly made from the banks of the beautiful Kafue River, courtesy of the Bushman's Camp here in, the, in Kafue. Thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. These crayfish are absolutely amazing. I'm sure we'll be able to taste that freshness from the water. So I'm going to sit down with William. It's actually very good that we come out here today. Now we know where the crayfish is from. If any of you are looking to actually come and spend a weekend away, please, please look up the few Bushman's camp. It's beautiful. You'll be taken care of by the awesome Wile over here. Yeah. He's more than happy to take care of you guys. So please check them out, guys. Look them up on Facebook, look them up online. It's a beautiful place and yeah. Let's get eating this beautiful crayfish. That looks so yummy. I can't believe you didn't bring me any. But why? There was crayfish at home. We've cooked our crayfish, Mr. Yes. William. So this is my gift to you. Okay. So this is my version of how I do my crayfish. Okay. I know you do it one way, but for me, this is my gift to you for even allowing us to come to your beautiful lodge, yeah. for taking me around. If anything, I need to even go and see a couple more of the rooms. But even while we're talking about the rooms, how many rooms do we have here? Altogether? Only two. Only two rooms? Yes. Okay, so how you guys are quite busy then? Uh, you're quite fully booked all the time? Yeah, all the time. Okay, Yeah. so it's good. So at least you take me around after we have our lunch. So before we actually walk around, let's get a bit of energy. Yes. Let's get the energy from our beautiful crayfish and a bit of that juice as well. So, cheers, cheers. To some beautiful crayfish and Kafir Bushman camp. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so straight away. Okay. Let's hammer these crayfish. I don't even have to tell you how to eat them. <laughs> these things are so nice. So you've got to take a fork there just in yeah. case you want some of this sauce to dip in there a bit. Fuck And straight from there. Mm. <laughs> I love crayfish. Yeah. So every single time, one of the things that we always have in the house. See my shorts back, crayfish. Can you remember? Yeah. See, I told you.
the Bushman's Camp is a great place to visit if you want to truly unplug and get up close to nature, a true rustic African experience. you are really a lozy man, eh? So obsessed with the water. You know this. Do you think they'll let me roll on the Nalikwanda? <laughs> I don't know about all that, but maybe one day. You never know. You could be one of those hundred paddlers. The Nalikwanda is the Lozi Litunga's principal boat and the symbol of our Lozi kingship. It is used during the Kwamboka ceremony, a festival that celebrates the move of the Litunga from his compound in Lialui to Limulunga. For your information, darling. Thank you so much, Fabide. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think I've worked up a sweat, so I'm gonna sit back, relax, drink a bit of my Rhodes juice, and just enjoy the scenery. I'm so glad you had such a wonderful time, love. It was a beautiful little retreat. Ah, oh, on the way the road to take us to next, eh? Stay tuned, guys. Right now, just gonna sit on the rocks. Let me relax a little bit and take it all in. Beautiful, beautiful. Tune in next week to find out where the road, road will, will take, take us. us.